Next up at UFC 267, we have <laughs> Mashal Alekjik, Olin Jacek versus Shamil Gamzatov. Mashal is a very good striker with really fast hands and a ton of pressure. He has power, but not a ton. And he does separate himself with his speed. So his speed sort of uh, replaces the power. What the hell is the word I'm looking for? He will trick you into thinking he has power because he's so fast. He will catch you with strikes that you didn't see coming. And they'll hit twice as hard because you didn't see them coming. He doesn't necessarily have knockout flat power. But speed is honestly more important than power. And he has a little bit, hides it behind the speed. And he's very dangerous on his fight. He er, on his feet. He does have holes in the grappling. Shamil coming off a two year laying two year layoff. Uh, he's a very good world level grappler. He uses leg kicks to slow you down before he bullies forward to a takedown and then works his grappling from there. And this is one of the lines on the card that is honestly pretty accurate. This card is loaded with minus three hundred favorites. There, there's like a minus eight hundred. Like this card is crazy with the disparity between the fighters. I actually think this line is as close to accurate as we're going to get on this card. I would normally easily side with the wrestler uh, in Shamir, or Shamil, um, but a two-year-long layoff, and he's a grappler, not really a wrestler wrestler. Um, you know, so not bringing those takedowns to the table has me questioning what he could do. Uh, and you've heard my rants in the past about good jujitsu guys that can't wrestle. Uh, Michelle has the volume and the pressure to overwhelm Gamsatov. The issue is the giant gap on the ground. Like M Michelle would have to fight a perfect fight for 15 minutes to win because I feel like if he gets taken down, that's it. He has nothing to offer. Shamil can beat him up from there. Uh, I have to side with the more dangerous guy, and that is the grappler in Shamil. What do you think? Is this not Michael? Is it Mich Michelle? I thought it was just Michael. Uh, listen, man. I, <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know, but I'm going to call him Michael. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I, the, the best part about this fight is going to be Michael's corner yelling Michael. in Polish. It's the scariest thing you've ever heard in your life. It's like it's like a scary movie, somebody yelling through a cave. Like, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's terrifying, and it sounds incredible. That's going to be a lot of fun in this fight. But as you mentioned, Shamil, man. This dude is mean. You, you you say he's just a grappler. I think he's a wrestler. He's a Russian. He's a wrestler. What I see, I see blast doubles. I see uh, high crotch singles. I see. You bang. couldn't point those to. You could I see not the bang. point excuse those me. takedowns excuse out me. on a doll. I excuse me. I see you, the thing where he grabs. I see the thing where he grabs his foot and puts lifts it like this, and then he trips him like that. I see the headlock, you know, this where you do that, and you twist them like that. He's got it all. He's going to get this fight to the ground. Um, Michelle or Michael, whatever your name is, I apologize. You're going to get the heat out of you. So uh, I like Shamil in this matchup. All right, you're going Shamil. I'm going Shamil. I'm a little uh, more worried about it than you are, but all is fair. Uh, I do like the odds, honestly. I think the odds are pretty accurate, where in some of the other fights, they're super, super wide. So $8,400, I think that's a solid price. The first time we have a, a good guy that's priced affordably. I like $8,400. Very, very, yeah, very affordable. He should be probably $89 ish in, in my mind. I mean, Michelle is, is dangerous on his feet, though. I mean, Michelle, he, 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 Michael, Michelle, he lost his last fight. That was, a, that was a bad decision. He lost that fight. Well, he also has a you know, ton of experience and. The gap on the ground is the big issue. Monkey knife fight. Interesting line. 48 is a little higher than what we've seen in some of these striker versus grappler matchups. What do you think? What'd you ask? Monkey knife fight? Yeah. Sorry. I was looking at uh nice. my nice. I was looking at my notes. I've seen if I missed anything. I got pages of notes over here. It's crazy. Yeah, I know, I know. Um did you already give a pick or were you waiting Jesus on my Jesus What or what do you how about you have an original thought? And then we'll <laughs> uh Less, less. Okay. Yeah, you're useless. Absolutely useless. What did and you say? Like, more, more? Oh, where's Jacob? Where's Jacob? Who cares? Honestly, what did you say? Did you give a pick? No. Oh. I didn't. Uh, I said it's a tricky line because 48 Make is a pick. higher. What? Make a pick. 
I just said it's a tricky line. 48 is higher than what we've been seeing. <clears throat> you know, I it's it is it is probably less, it is probably less, less, but that is uh one of the trickier lines that we have 15 fights to pick from, so I'm not gonna touch it. I may grab a inside the distance decision, no action somewhere here, maybe on Michal, but we'll see what happens. And let's move on to the next fight. 